This is the most explosive offensive man 23 that no one knows about. You got most. Has explosive run plays. Run. Glitch routes versus every defense. And one play touchdowns that score from anywhere on the field. Break yourself, fool! Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. So if you want to know what brand new offense I'm using to get results like this, see ya. Stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a brand new offense from a New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. Is this playbook is easily the biggest that I've ever made, and I can make videos from this offense until Madden 24 comes out. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you guys want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all I have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. The formation that I'll be using today is the Gun Y Off Trio Week, as this might be one of the glitchiest formations in the playbook due to what you can do with all the motioning receivers. As far as my four audible plays that I use for this offense, I typically replace the first play with the PA post dig shot. This is a one play touchdown versus just about every defense in the game except cover one man and cover zero. The second play I'm going to replace with the inside zone, which is my favorite run play in the formation, but you also have other options like the halfback base and draw if you like one of them instead. Either way, I feel like you only need one run play as a threat for this entire offense to work. And the last two plays are going to be one play touchdowns for the remaining defense that the PA post dig struggles with, and that is the four vertical which is a one play touchdown against cover one man and the PA wide receiver in which is a one play touchdown against cover zero amongst others. My fifth play really changes a lot throughout the game but on the first play this time I choose the Saints deep out. When I come to the line it looks like he's going to cover three so for most of the one play touchdowns to work or to be most effective it's really best to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field. So when I see that his defense is mostly stacked to the left I decide to switch over to the inside zone with the plan to take it to the outside and away from them. This formation is very unique as far as what it allows you to do with the wide receiver motions as all three can be moved pre-snap for a different type of advantage every single time. For run plays like this, I find it's best to either run it as is with no adjustments if you're trying to run up the middle, but if you're trying to run it to the outside like I am planning to do here, you gain a unique blocking advantage by motioning in the slot receiver who will line up right next to the tight end to seal the edge. And look at the huge hole I get on the first run as I get past the first down marker before anyone is even close to me. I run a hurry up to get to the next play to try to keep him in cover three so I can set the one play touchdown as I switch to the PA post dig shot. For this play to work, you just have to be on a hash mark to the open side of the field which I just created for myself. Then then you'll want to motion in the X receiver and put him on a streak along with the A tight end and the B receiver as well as this is the one play touchdown setup to the X route as long as you bullet and pass lead away from the safety once he gets over the top of the corner. But just as I set this up I also started to think that it looks like a cover one man so I changed my mind and switched to the four verticals play instead. I motioned in the slot receiver one more time as he is now the first read on the play if he is in cover one and I can tell as soon as the ball is snapped that I should have stayed with my first read as he's clearly in a cover three so I sidestep and throw it away to get a penalty for intentional grounding. What? So now I need 23 yards on the next play, and it looks like my opponent is in cover to man this time. So I go right back to the PA posting shot, motion the X receiver one more time, only this time I have to put the B receiver on an out route and smart route him to pull the safeties apart. Now AJ Brown has an inside release angle in the cover two corner, while the crossing route will draw the attention of the user over the middle of the field. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> As AJ Brown shuts off a little bit of contact to gain 23 yards and then some. On defense, I'll be using a few different plays throughout this entire game that I've already made videos about, but I will mostly be focusing on offense. So if you guys want to see more about these plays, I will have links in the description as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I will be using a lot of cover two man and man zero blitz, which my opponent starts by dissecting with the Chargers star-studded weapons on offense with Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. I get a big sack on second down to push him back to a third 19 before he lobs it up. You got Moss! And Moss is me with an almost seven-foot Mike Williams before scoring with the tight end on the very next play. He would have tied the game, but somehow he misses the extra point that in some ways dictate the way the rest of this game is played. Back on offense, I'm still having some problems reading his defense. I just forced it into coverage as I'm trying to make a play, Oops. and that was a huge mistake as he's already in field goal range. But he doesn't want a field goal as he takes it wide with a stretch on the next play. No! God, please, no! 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 He has to go for two, and at least I can stop that. Sit your ass down! 
I decided to have to slow it down, so I start to use some of my man beers like the Saints in Go, as all I have to do is drag the Titan to get myself two good options over the middle, and they were both open, as I take the Titan underneath to get close to another first down before deciding to run for it on the next play. Before I run the play, though, I make sure to make a fake motion by moving in the X receiver, which you want to do from time to time on normal plays, so that it doesn't stand out as much when you need to make this motion for the one-play touchdowns, as we easily get the first on the next carry. When I get back to the huddle, I see that he is now running a lot of cover for Matt, so I pick the Saints deep ends. This can be a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses. So I make the one play touchdown setup only to see Devontae Smith beat his press for an easy big play that probably would have been a touchdown if I had just held it a little bit longer. As it looks like he went back to the cover zero blitz. The cover zero gets home on the next play. Woo! as he eventually gets me into a third and ten before I read him going back to cover two man once again. So I make the exact same adjustment as before, only this time I give myself a drag for a check down and pretty much every route gets open as I punch it in right through the middle of the safeties once again. Touchdown. Now up a point, I'm going to go for two so I can make this a three point game. So I make a brand new fake motion before handing it off on the inside zone and increase my lead. I left a lot of time on the clock though as he starts his next drive by running a lot of I-form plays which I am having a hard time stopping so far before he spreads me out and hits me with a screen pass that usually doesn't work against man coverages like this. <laughs> He tries to run from here before the defense finally stands tall as we get a stop on back-to-back -back runs, forcing a third and goal before I see what looks like a goal line offense. So expecting a QB sneak, I switch over to 60 out jacks since the two linebackers fill that lane and on the next play he hands it off but we get a stop for a loss. And I thought he was going to kick a field goal for here but I guess he changed his mind so on a critical fourth down before half I dial up a zero blitz only to see him pump fake the blitzing cornerback out of his shoes. What the hell was that? So now down three at the start of the second half, my opponent gets ball, so it is critical that I had to stop here. I get a sack on the next play to force a second and long before he gets most of it back on a simple crossing route to Mike Williams. I get him to a fourth and short, but he picks it up on a zig before going deep once again and mossing me with Williams for the second time in this game to get inside the 10. The run defense once again stands up inside the five as we force him into a third, and this time the blitz gets home stopping the drive as he surprisingly kicks the field goal to take only a six-point lead. Back on offense, I read cover three one more time, and this time I'm going to go for it as I'm already pretty much on the hash mark, so I make my motion, set up my streaks one more time, only this time the throw is a little bit early once again, but I make a nice adjustment with the ball in the air to come down with it. <laughs> You got most. I switch over to my Saints fork play on the next play, and since most people know that the slot receiver is the read, I expect them to use the safety over the top of him, so I make an adjustment to put A.J. Brown on a fade. I'm open, I'm open. I'm open. I'm over here. I don't keep the lead long though, as Chauncey Gardner Johnson is having the worst day of his life, as Mike Williams outmuscles him on a crossing route, only to take it to the house on the very next play. <laughs> Luckily, we are still playing lights out football on two point conversions though. Nope. Now, almost in the fourth quarter, we are running our offense the exact same way as we did in the beginning of the game. I make my slot motion to take the inside zone outside and get to the hash mark before running it again and cutting back across to make sure that we finish on the other hash mark this time. From here, it gets me to a third and ten only to find nothing open, and now I have to go for it on fourth and eleven with the game on the line. I decide to use something that he hasn't seen yet, and since he's running a lot of cover to man, I decide to switch over to the PA shot seams from the gun tight offset TE. This is also a very popular play that I'm sure he has seen before as I see the safety moving right in the area that I want to go. So I know that he is going to take away that corner route. So if he does, I know that the streak will become the play if he bails with the safety. And sure enough, he does, leaving the streak wide open for a huge first down. And since he's in a small quarter defense, I hurry up, switch over to the inside zone, and take the lead back with just two minutes to go. I decide to go for two to try to make it a three point lead once again, and I switch over to my gun stack wide flex scheme, as he hasn't seen me do this all game. That's just too easy. I always make sure to have my backup running back at the fullback spot for two reasons. One of them is because most people kick to the fullback and it gives me a decent return man option, and the other is because it gives me a fast gunner on kick return coverage. I can tell that he does neither of these, he tries to pitch it to a non existent return man. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Only to allow me to out sprint him for the ball and win the game as he rage quits instantly. See ya! So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'll have more videos popping up about the defenses I was using throughout the game. So if you want to check them out, just click the links on the screen as I'm sure to have a your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Oh.